What's up, guys? I have an phone accessory review for you guys. Um, and I guess this would be of particular interest for people who make videos, like for YouTube or whatever. Uh, and what this is, is this is actually a tripod mount for smartphones. Um, you know, generally, phones have been getting better and better cameras. I know the, uh, the newest iPhone, the 4S, has, you know, what's supposed to be the most amazing camera on a phone. Uh, and I believe the iPhone 5 is only supposed to get it better. Well, it kind of hints to when I'm making this video. <laughs> um, but for me, uh, and generally what happens is, Apple products, iPhones, they'll usually get the most accessories because, you know, whether I like it or not, the iPhone is probably still the most popular smartphone around. But generally what I like to use is uh, Android phones. Whoops, bumped the tripod. You can see my lighting up top. I'm just going to flip this around so... Uh, you don't get that reflection in the lens. But I like Android phones. This is a Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, I've only had it for maybe close to a year, a little less than a year. Uh, so I won't be getting the S3 anytime soon. I'll probably end up getting the S4 or you know whatever whatever next Samsung Galaxy phone comes out. But you know one thing that I've always wanted was a good tripod mount for my phone. Um, like I said, iPhones to get more accessories. There are plenty of tripod mounts made out there to fit the iPhone 4 uh, in particular but not so much with Android phones uh, I guess maybe it's just because they're not as popular or whatever um, and for me you know I have relatively shaky hands I don't know if you can really kind of tell from this video uh, anyone who watches my zippo tricking videos will know that I have very shaky hands um, and that makes recording video with things like a smartphone very difficult because they don't really have very good image stabilization um, honestly, recording any type of video for me is difficult because of how shaky my hands is. Hands are uh, even taking still photos with a camera phone. They're usually very poor. So I've gotten into the habit of carrying a mini tripod with me, not really for recording long videos or taking you know very precise shots or anything, but just just to you know just to prevent any kind of blur that I might get. Uh, I thought about making one out of Kydex. I've been kind of, you know, on my free time thinking about different designs that I might do with Kydex uh, to make something that's universal instead of just something you've molded specifically for one type of phone. But I haven't really gotten around to it. And what happened was I was browsing on Amazon and I actually saw this product. Uh, this product is called a K-Star smartphone mount. Uh, this There's actually another one. I think it's called the Eye Stabilizer, you know, very original. Um, but that one costs a lot more. Uh, I believe the eye stabilizer, stabilizer, the list price is $20, and Amazon has it for $14. This K-Star one uh, was only $8. And I felt that for $8, it was worth the investment. I kind of actually like the design, and I would like to do something similar myself if I had the capabilities to, but uh, I'm pretty sure this is made of uh, injection molded plastic. But so far, my impression has been it's pretty good. Uh, it's a lot smaller than what the pictures might indicate, but obviously since it's supposed to be made for phones, you know, it's not going to be huge, which is good because it doesn't really stand out all that much up against the phone. Uh, there are some tripod mounts that they made universal, uh, very similar to phone mounts for cars, where it's a, like a huge bulky plastic bracket that has uh, these like claws, spring-loaded claws in that you can like clamp in. Um, but what happens, in my opinion, is I feel it looks kind of ugly on a tripod. This is very slim. It's very sleek in design. Uh, I believe the website says that you know this can open up to 2.75 inches and fit phones that are 2.75 inches wide. So uh, in my case, actually, with a case on my phone, it fits quite well with still a little bit of room. Actually, you know, if I pull this apart, you can still see I have a few millimeters there uh, before you really have to squeeze it on completely. So for my applications, it's great, and you can see that when it's mounted on tripod. Actually, let me just go ahead and mount it on tripod. Uh, this isn't the mini tripod I carry. Uh, my brother got this for me, though. And I do use it on occasion because it it's actually smaller than the other mini tripod I have. But the reason why I don't like this as much is just cause, because it's shorter, uh, the legs don't open as wide, and it's not as stable as compared to my other one, which is in my bag, and I'm too lazy to get to. But you can see here... Uh, it's not very obnoxious on your phone, uh, and you mainly just see the phone, which is nice. If I were to make something out of Kydex, probably it would just be a solid piece that clipped over the uh, back of the phone as well as the screen, and just have the, uh, 
the camera lens portion exposed. Um, one, I guess one bad thing about this is as smartphones get bigger and bigger, you know, like, I think the Skyrocket is much, it's slightly larger than this, and I don't think a Skyrocket will fit in this case. Uh, I personally don't see myself getting a phone with that large of a screen, so I think this tripod mount will work for me for quite a long time. But you can see, oops, you can see uh, it actually holds pretty steady, um, which is nice. Uh, you can shake it around, it's not going to fall out. Uh, and it actually has, let me just take my phone off so there's no reflection. It actually has like a rubber base here on the bottom as well as a, well it's actually, no, this is a foam base on the bottom, my mistake, and a rubber base on top with some dots there for a grip. And it, it holds the phone really well. Uh, how it does it is that it has this wire piece here that goes into the plastic and it's spring loaded. Uh, there actually are screw screws on the bottom. I'm not sure if you can take it apart or whatever to replace the screws. I don't plan to do so. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty solid design. The spring is quite tight, so it will hold, hold any phone that, you know, obviously fits in this width span, which probably like an inch and a half and expands out to two and three quarters inches. Uh, one thing I don't like is this pull tab. Um, it's kind of cheap, kind of flimsy. You know, it, you can actually see that when I'm pulling on it. It almost feels like I'm going to pull that thing off. Uh, so, I don't know. I'll leave it on here. I don't really use it because of that, because I don't feel it's that stable to use to open to get your phone in. I'd much prefer to just grab it by like a solid, the solid metal spring bar. Um, I don't, maybe I'll cut it off because it does kind of stick out a little bit and it's kind of pokey. But yeah, um, in terms of fit and finish, like you know, the plastic's a little uneven. The uh, let me just take this off the tripod. And you can see it's not completely straight, but in all honesty, I don't care because it's very functional and for eight dollars, you know, it's uh, it's difficult to make something <laughs> this cheap with that great of fit and finish. Um, it does have a standard quarter inch by twenty uh, tripod hole, uh, and this is actually metal. Uh, magnets will stick to this. I'm not sure how. I believe they have it epoxied into the plastic, and I f if I I feel like. If there was ever a weak spot to this, it would be this point here where like I can see maybe the plastic cracking or maybe just the um, the, tr the female end of the screw just pulling right out. But so far it seems to be okay and because it's such a small package, uh, it fits in bags relatively well. You, know, you should have no issues getting into your camera bag or honestly you could probably even throw this loose into your pocket and it should hold up pretty well. Uh, it also came with, you see here, a uh, nice fake velvet case. I'm not gonna use this uh, this mount. You know, it's it's durable. That case won't do anything. It's just extra bulk added to my bag. Um, I might actually also get this to one of my friends, Ray, because he does do um, he does write for tech websites and he will go out to shows and everything. And obviously, he has better cameras to film video. But sometimes when you know an emergency comes up whether your battery dies or you run out of memory or whatnot you know it's always good to have uh, be able to use your phone as a backup camera uh, that's mainly what I'm gonna be doing with this this whole setup uh, you know this the other tripod and this uh, this will be a backup you know I don't really have super expensive digital SLRs that can take you know great videos I have a point-and-shoot which takes much better video than this. Um, sorry to say, point shoots still generally take better videos than uh, camera phones. So you know, since I'm gonna start going to more conven conventions and whatnot, and since I do make YouTube videos, I'm gonna take full advantage of this mount and my phone as basically a backup to record on. Uh, I have, I believe, a 16 gigabyte mini micro SD card in here, along with internal. Um, internal storage and I also do have a backup external battery that I can use with my phone so it shouldn't be any issues whatsoever for recording longer videos uh, because you know recording HD videos on your sm smartphone does really kill the batteries but yeah for you know anyone who's making videos like honestly if you're making YouTube videos and you're not doing s super high quality like 1080p or whatever um, because of how good the 
cameras on smartphones are now, it kind of makes those pocket camcorders obsolete. Uh, obviously, Flip has kind of gone out of business, uh, so there are other companies like Kodak and whatnot that are making those pocket camcorders, but those tend to not take videos as well as the newest generations of smartphones. So that would make a great option for you just doing vlogs and whatnot, or even just doing review videos or you know tabletop videos like this, where you can just mount up your camera onto a tripod. You know, tripods you can find pretty cheap, and you can get a pretty decent recording setup for very little money, or at least very little additional cost. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, check this product out if you're interested. It's actually a really nice product. Maybe I'll get one for my brother. He's probably gonna see this video though, uh, but he does photography and. I, and he does have the newest the iPhone 4s, so I think he would greatly benefit from this as well. Uh, although, maybe he might think it's a waste of money. I'll get it from him for Christmas anyway, it's coming up soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.